The next stage in AI development is going to be getting more human feedback. Hi, everybody. My name is Greg Crable, and this is my podcast. Recently, I've been focusing on AI issues. Today, I read a list of 15 popular Yogi Berra quotes. They're really funny. And I decided to go to ChatGPT and say, okay, make me some more. Create some more Yogi Berra-like sayings. And it did a decent job. They were, they were funny, but they weren't great. Now, why would that be? Uh, part of it is that these 15 were like popular ones. These were the ones that had caught on, right? Yogi Berra probably said all kinds of things, and these are the 15 that caught on. So what AI needs to be able to do is it can create a Yogi Berra-like quote or a Mark Twain-like quote or a Benjamin Franklin-like quote by looking at syntax and looking at patterns and so forth. But in order to figure out which ones really resonate, which ones make people laugh, which ones, how do people react to these things, it's going to have to get more human feedback, right? So that's what I think is coming. Pretty soon, you're going to have other ways for the AI to get feedback in your reactions. Now, it already does that to some extent, right? It has a little like button. Sometimes it'll give you two answers and say, which answer do you prefer? So it's getting some of that feedback. It might also be doing its own experiments on social media, on X and things like that. I don't know. But AI is going to have to start getting more human feedback. And I suspect that will come from things like smartwatches and other kinds of things that can find out how you react to what AI is saying. That's just something to look out for. thought it was an interesting thought. Have a nice day.